All right, I'm here with former uh, NFL tight end Fred Baxter. Mr. Baxter, thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, take us through the timeline of you know, uh, your career, you know, starting when you were playing at Auburn University. Well, it was a blessing. You know, I'm very, very, very fortunate. Um, I was afforded an opportunity um, to attend Auburn on a full scholarship. You know, I'm coming from a very humble beginning. You know, it was a, a great opportunity that opened up a lot of doors for me. You know, took advantage of it. You know, got a great education from Auburn. Um, major in education. I was edu I'm going to be an educator. Um, but then, you know, as my talent, pretend, you know, as it continued to grow, you know, I got drafted by the Jets, which was another blessing. You know, very few people have that opportunity when you're talking about professional athletes. And being one of those chosen ones, you know, I was just very fortunate and thankful. And now that I had a 12-year career, again, very fortunate. Now I'm giving my life to service now, you know, uh, motivating young adults, adolescents, trying to career path them and give them more motivation you know, to be the best that they can be. And the big highlight of your career was in uh, 2003 with the New England Patriots. Uh, you guys went to the Super Bowl 38 and defeated the Carolina Panthers. What was it like for you, you know, the experience uh, to win a Super Bowl? Words can't explain it. You know, it's when you think about you know the opportunity to play in the NFL, and then also now you play in the NFL, and now you play in the Super Bowl. It's like a dream come true. You know, you at the pinnacle. Um, everybody's watching it. I mean, it's one of the world largest, most viewed games. I mean, to my sporting event, you know, any event, you know, on television. So you know, it was a great opportunity for my family to experience it, and, and you know, being very, very fortunate of winning. You know, now you're talking about a party. You know, you know, a very, very nice opportunity for my family to go through being in the NFL. And in your time with the Patriots, you know, especially with that team, you know, you were playing alongside guys like, you know, Tom Brady, uh, Teddy Bruschi, Rodney Harrison, Adam Vinatieri. What was it like to play along with those guys uh, who really helped put the, uh, you know, the stamp mark on that dynasty of the Patriots uh, within the mid-2000s? They're excellent people. You know, had an outstanding work ethic, and they took the job very serious, and, and we push and, and compete against each other. You know, we know if if we wanted to be the best, we had to play against the best. And, and, the, and we feel that the defense at the time, you know, they was the best. And you know, our offense, you know, with um, the staff that we had, you know, the coaching staff that we had, and, and then then the players understanding the, the the game plan and going out and executing. You know, it was it was, it was very. You know, it, it was like going to, to an everyday job. You know, you with people that you love to work with, and and then we all on the same page and same accord of, of accomplishing the same goal. All right, and finally, uh, you're a resident here in South Jersey, and uh, I believe you run uh, your own foundation that helps uh, churches uh, not only in South Jersey but in Alabama mm -hmm. as well. Uh, can you explain uh, that foundation to our, our viewers? That's the Fred Baxter Foundation. Um, I founded it in 2000. Um, when I was growing up in Alabama, you know, my um, background, you're talking about my foundation, you know, is in the church and never left me. You know, it's, it's still to the day, you know, I give all, you know, praise and honor to, you know, God for, you know, being the head of my life and, and giving me the opportunity that I have now, you know, doing this interview with you. Um, and looking at the situation when I was growing up, you know, I didn't have the best of everything. So my foundation also helped those families that's, you know, in need, you know, whatever that is, you know, it, it, it's, it's not on you know, no um, permanent basis, you know, it, it's, it's on, you know, a communication with family that is in need, you know, it, it, it varies. Like now, going through the storm, you know, they're, they're in need of a lot of, you know, when you're talking about the necessities, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's what it was created for. And then at the same time, educationally is to empower our youth, get them to raise their standards when you're talking about education, where we, now we can push forward um, to a better economy and, and, and career path and these young adults where they got something and also job opportunities that they can accomplish. Well, I'm sure that these football players are, uh, you know, very blessed to, uh, you know, have with your inspirational speech here today, you know, really help uh, not just seniors going out, but, you know, uh, players that are playing now, ones that are coming in. Mr. Baxter, I want to thank you very, very much for your time.